Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be my 8th tutorial of my CFW tutorial series, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to go from any custom firmware to Rebug 4.70.1 Rex Cobra or D-Rex Cobra. Uh, I'll leave both of the links in the description for Kex and Dex. So first off, you want to be downgraded to 3.55 if you're in QA toggled. I'm already on 3.55, I'll show you right now. There you are, 3.55. Um, so I'm going to explain some of the overview of the Copa firmware. It has PRX plugins at boot time. I also support PS1, PS2, PS3, PSP, DVD, Blu-ray. Network support for PS1, PS3, DVD, Blu-ray, and package files. Uh, it has Blu-ray movie region-free functionality. Webman integration. Uh, PS2 ISO support. PSN patch stealth plugin support. PS3 map I support, which that allows you to attach the process on both Kex and Dex. Uh, it has backup protection removal. Target manager 4.20 to 4.70 fully supported on this firmware. And this firmware pre prevents OFW updates from game disks or mounted game rips. Even though it says that, we're still going to make sure we don't have a disk in our PS3 when we change firmwares. And make sure you don't have your spoofer on if you are changing firmers too. And there's an approved stability with the DEX mode. The annoying issue with hanging on boot on some old converted DEX models is fixed. So that's basically it. I'll leave a link in the description where you can read all the uh, information about the Cobra firmware. So I'll see you guys at the computer. All right, guys, so now that we're on your PC, you want to download the CFW Troll number 8 folder. Link will be in the description to that and plug it in USB. Mine's right here and just open up the folder. And in the folder, you see Rebug 4.70.1 DREX and Rebug 4.70.1 REX and the latest version of Rebug Toolbox. And so I'm on 3.55 KEX, so I'm going to use Rebug 4.70.1 REX. Just click into the folder and drag the PS3 folder onto the root USB. And I'm actually just going to put two separate links for these updates because uh, I noticed in my last tutorials that it's just too long for people to download. You're basically downloading an update that you don't even need. So I'm going to put two separate links just to make it easier for you guys. And once that's done copying, just copy over the Rebug Toolbox PKG onto the root USB. And that's basically it. We're going to safely eject your USB and I'll see you on the PS3. All right, guys, so now that we're on your PS3, again, you want to plug in the USB into the right USB port. And if you're on a fat PS3, furthest to the right USB port. And we're going to check that we have no disks in. Make sure our spoofer is disabled. And if you're on, like, a higher custom firmware, make sure in Rebug Toolbox that your system mode is on normal. So once that's all done, checked and everything, everything looks fine. Make sure your internet connection is disabled. Once disabled, and then go up to... System update, update via storage media, and you'll see 4.70.1 Rebug Rex or D-Rex, whatever one you chose. And you're just going to click OK. Uh, just skip, accept, turn off system automatically after update, and start. Alright guys, so once that's done updating, your PS3 will turn off, just turn it back on, and I'll show you guys my system information right now. As you can see, I'm on 4.70, and another thing is you don't need a spoofer on this firmware, because obviously you're on 4.70, so I'll just sign in to show you. And there you go, and if you notice, the uh, there's a new logo, it's red, for the PSN network. And I'll just sign out and I'll show you there's no spoofer here. And I told you guys to put the Rebug Toolbox in the root USB, but you didn't need to because it's already integrated into the firmware. So we're just going to delete our old firm, our old version of Rebug Toolbox. 
and go to package manager install package files and this is where it's already on your ps3 ps3 system storage just install it from there and if you want to find package files on your usb you just want to go to package manager install package files and go to standard and you'll find your pkgs there and rebug made it so much easier like they describe what folder does where it's located what directory it is they just organize it way more and so you want to run rebug toolbox and i'll just show you my system information again there you go and you go to selector you can go down to toggle cobra mode this is where you can toggle cobra and you go down to toggle webman this is where you toggle it and webman is basically you can load games from your xmb and cobra i'll leave a link in the description of what cobra does and what you can do with cobra and i also heard that you can switch from kex to dex just by going like just from the rebug toolbox you don't need to do the cmd shit or anything and that's basically it please like comment subscribe thank you